Today's video, we're going to be showing you one of the best spacing concepts in Madden 24. We're going to give you the ability to beat man coverage really, really well, and it's also going to be able to give you the ability to beat and attack zone coverage. Now, the play that we're going to be showing you this out of, really in any play out of the Y out trips pats formation, but for the purpose of the video today, we are going to be using the play tight end whip. Now, the setup for this play is we are going to streak our slot receiver, we are going to motion this outside trips receiver across and put him on an out route, which would be going to the left side of the screen. That's really important. And then we are going to wheel our running back. What you see here is a play that is going to do a really good job of attacking both main and zone coverage. It's going to have really good spacing on it. That's going to be great for zone and zone pressures. And it's also a play that is going to make sure that people aren't able just to Babel coverage you and be able to stop what you're trying to do. Now, uh, we'll show you the reads here. So against man-to-man -man coverage, really the best route, in my opinion, is going to be this tight end whip route. It is super consistent against man coverage, and U-Trips is one of the only formations in the game where you can have a route like this that uh, is just like stock into the play. Now, the next route that we're going to be looking for against man coverage is we want to look to our running back. The running back out of U-Trips is going to do a really good job of attacking man coverage, especially right off the cut up the field. And if they don't have safety help on that left-hand side of the screen, it could be a potential touchdown over there on the left side. So there's a couple of things that we've established right off the bat with this route combination. Number one, if you play man coverage on this, chances are we're going to have something open on the field. In fact, we haven't even gotten to this route yet, but actually the best route on the field is probably this post route to the left side receiver. Now, in this situation, I think Marlon Humphrey does have a knockout, but you know, obviously we're going up against him with, with uh, a lesser than receiver. In Ultimate Team, you're going to, or CFM or whatever, you're going to have a little bit better of a receiver there. But as you can see, I mean, he just gets separation against man coverage. It's one of the best routes this year for attacking man coverage. These post routes are so important. For your offense so once we kind of take their ability to run man coverage away it's going to funnel them into a position where they're going to basically have to play zone and so because they're going to have to play zone to defend this concept we're going to be able to kind of attack the these hot spots of the zone if you will uh, what you're going to see here is our first read if we see zone coverage we really want to look to this running back out of the backfield when he cuts up field against zone it, we're just going to basically pass lead that to the inside i'm not leading him up i don't want to pass lead him up and inside i mainly just want to get him as inside as i possibly can so that the outside quarter defender or the outside third defender isn't able to like jump the route and get an interception you'll see it a little bit better here against cover three but again just pass lead inside and Williams made the play of his career, and we'll show that to you again. So one way that you can actually prevent that from happening is if you know that it is zone coverage, you can put your running back on a streak, and it will make this a little easier. The only problem that I have with the streak is it's not as good against man. So if you know it's zone coverage, see how he kind of will get right into this really perfect spot where we can absolutely attack zone coverage with that route. Now, let me continue here and let me show you what this looks like against like a purple zone. So this is a cover three with a curl flat defender. Again, the pass lead is everything here, but essentially when he cuts up field, see how that, see how he kind of gets in this weird spot. And this is something that's a little bit new to Madden 24. Unfortunately, they made wheel routes in a way more effective and less effective at the same time. Um, but essentially what you'll see here is against like a curl flat defender. A lot of this does have to do with if they do zone drops or not. If they don't do zone drops, it'll be a little easier. But if they are able to defend that route, then you want to look to your post route over the middle of the field. Your post route over the middle of the field is your money route. It's the route that you really want to throw. And basically what we're trying to do is get them to run to the wheel so that we can throw this uh, post route in the middle of the field. This post route in the middle field, especially when you pair it with a clear out streak like we have here from the slot receiver, there's going to be so much space to throw this before he gets to the deep blue defenders, but after he gets over the top of the hook curl defenders. Another thing that's really cool about this play is the tight end whip route. The tight end whip route is a perfect complementary route on this play because it is able to, number one, attack if they don't play hard flats on side. You'll see here, it's like here's a non-hard flat. You can throw this and just get some easy yards with your tight end. If they're falling asleep at the wheel defensively, you want to be able to take advantage of something like that. But the other reason why this is such a good route 
is because of what you're about to see it do uh, to a yellow zone and as well as a cloud flap. The yellow zones have to kind of like respect that route over there, and it's going to leave that post over the middle of the field basically open. Obviously, the post will have to be usered, but essentially what will happen a lot of times is they will not, more than likely, they're not going to have a mid-read on the field. More than likely, that's going to be their user defender, or they're going to put that mid-read in a deep middle third zone. There's a lot of different things that they might do with that middle that mid-read defender. But essentially, what will happen here is, you know, as you can see right here, if we don't take him off the field, he's going to match. But if he doesn't, if he's not on the field, um, he's not going to match. Or if they're usering him, they might run to the running back route. So if they run to the running back route, then you're going to have this absolute massive ability here to be able to hit this post and we'll show it to you here but watch how all the yellow zones in the game they just all suck to this tight end route and you can throw this right behind him so that's what makes this play so effective it's really one of the better plays in the game for attacking the double flat meta a double flat meta is kind of just the double mabel meta but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have a couple hard flats here from these two defenders and then obviously this can be the user and the user is going to be left in the middle of the field to have to choose am i going to guard the running back route or am i going to guard the post route and this is even better and more magnified if you know it's zone coverage and you can put your running back on a streak route because you don't have to worry about his man-to-man -man, uh, beating capabilities. You can throw this right in the zone. Obviously, you want a possession catch that. But this makes this play one of the better plays in the game because it's able to attack man coverage. It's able to attack zone coverage. And if you can attack man and zone, chances are you probably can attack match coverage as well. So love this play. Please throw the tight end whip. It's one of the best routes in the game. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to run U-Trips, join the Patreon. That's where you'll take your Madden game to the next level. You get access to all of our eBooks, updates, everything for just $10. The link is down in the description below.